Jess here again today with number 21 of the Scrappy Advent Calendar. Sorry for this awful um, camera angle again. My desk is a mess. My house is a mess actually. I'm getting ready for Christmas and doing a bit of spring cleaning a couple of days before the big family event. Um, so I'm going to make a prediction based on the shape of this bottle. That this is going to be, or I shouldn't say bottle, the shape of this package. This is going to be a very similar present that I opened to last time I was in this exact same location for my filming. And at that stage, that was when I opened a silver acrylic paint spray. And I'm going to take a stab in the dark. This is going to be gold. Let's just see. Oh, I might be wrong. Oh, look, it's art spray, mixed media in gold. How did I know? So this is the sister to the silver spray I got the other day. Um, so acrylic spray, mixed media brand. It says, brightly colored water-based acrylic spray for light porous surfaces, such as canvas, paper, wood, Intermixable, water thinnable, quick drying, fast and waterproof. Shake well before use. After use, pump warm water through the spray head and rinse the nozzle to prevent misters from blocking. So you can see why they tell you to mix well, because you can see here it practically looks white. And you can see here all of that beautiful shiny gold goodness that is just in a clump at the bottom. So you've got to give it a really good shake, which most of you will know from if you use Heidi Shine or if you watch um, Inky Quill or pretty much anyone that uses mixed or mixed media. This is probably making you all go crazy, but I'll stop already. You can already see the change of color there. Also, something I should mention about all these bubbles I have just put into, um, this spray that is to do with how I shook it. If you do crazy shaking like I just was, you will get lots and lots and lots of bubbles. Uh, then when you flick onto your page, the bubbles will be flicked as well. Now that's not necessarily a problem. Um, you still, it'll still be shiny, it'll still set, but you may have a bit of a texturally bubbly splotch on your page as opposed to a nice smooth clear round splotch on your page so do bear that in mind if you do a crazy shake like i did um you can also just give it a second to settle already the bubbles have really settled down or you could just do the really nice up and down motion or swirling motion to make sure the ball bearing and the ball is mixing up you don't have to go completely mad like i just did for the camera all right, guys, I will see you tomorrow with my homemade gift for day number 22. Bye, everyone. Hello, everyone. Jess here. I cannot believe that we are already up to day 22. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like December has flown this year. And I feel extremely unorganized. Usually, I am the person that has their Christmas shopping done by, like, the end of November. And... I've still got three presents I haven't purchased yet and it is killing me that I haven't done this. One of them I have no control over. She's asked for a specific item uh, but won't actually tell me what that item is which is a little bit frustrating. So I've rung her three times. I'm waiting on her to actually tell me what it is that she wants. Um, but the other two I'm just being hopeless and haven't gone and got them. And then my other problem which, oh, I don't even know when I'm fitting this in. So I haven't wrapped any. So, yeah, I'll have to find time there somewhere. And I'm hosting a Christmas lunch at my house today. So hopefully I can get this video up and running. I've already started cooking for that. It's, I'm already really late in terms of getting this video up. It's already half past 11, if not almost 12 o'clock and I'm having Christmas lunch at my house. So hopefully I can get this video up before my guests arrive. Otherwise, it's gonna be a late video for you ah, today. 
So fingers crossed. Now this is a homemade gift, so let's see. Oh, what's in the box? Here's the, excuse the crunching, I'm sure you're used to that by now. What's in the box? What's in the box? What show's that? I don't know, some kids show. Ooh. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. So this is not paper craft, just saying. Oh, wow. She has homemade marbled these cups. What would she use? I'll have to watch her tutorial, won't I? Acrylic paint? Nail polish? Maybe nail polish. It doesn't really have a smell. I'm smelling them to check if it's smelly. It doesn't really have a smell, but I get the feeling it might be nail polish. So cute. I'll um, be interested to see how these go in the wash. I wonder if it's safe. If it's nail polish, it should be fine. I wonder if it's safe to put them in a dishwasher or something. Though, we never use a dishwasher, so it probably doesn't matter. We have a dishwasher in our house, and we never use it. We always hand wash our dishes. Look at them, though. Aren't they the coolest things ever? So there's this gorgeous pink and black one. There's this beautiful one. Look at those, like, silvery blue colours in there. Oh, there's a bubble. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, this one's cute colours. wonder if she chose her colours based on the things that I like or based on what she had the most nail polish of. Because I'm guessing it's nail polish. But if she was thinking about me, this tealy blue and blue in general, blue's my favourite colour. So she did well there. Very cool, very cool. All right, well, I hope you like seeing those guys. Check the tutorial down below if you're interested in how you make that. I've done homemade marbling on paper with shaving cream. There's a tutorial for that um, from the 2017 December Daily, but I've never done it on ceramic before. Awesome. All right, everyone, goodbye. I will see you on Christmas Eve on the 24th with my last two present openings. All right, bye everybody.